How do you view the, the market reaction yesterday? Well, I guess we're kind of turning these um, um, Fed press conferences following an FOMC meeting into psychology sessions <laughs> because um, Jay Powell was very comforting. Personally, I, I thought the opening message on behalf of the American people um, was not so, so great. I mean, if he had stood there and apologized and said, um, it is our job, it is our mandate to give you stable prices, that's what we do on behalf of the American people, and I'm sorry we, we failed in that, then I would consider that quite sincere. Instead, to me, it kind of came across as a, we feel your pain, and we're very committed, and here's what we're going to do so long as um, developments occur um, that are in keeping with our expectations. But what he didn't acknowledge is that their expectations have been drastically wrong and that people are paying a high price for that now. Is it still possible to have a, a soft landing? Because there are extraneous things that could align in our favor. And, and whether it's because of brilliance by the Fed or, or timely action or whatever, it, you could land this, uh, this economy softly. Uh, if inflation, if supply chain issues ease, if uh, COVID uh, get that under control in China, I, you know, take your pick of what extraneous factor that you want to use. But it still could, it, it could still have a favorable outcome. Would you uh, concede that, Ed, Judy? Let's, let's hope that happens. Let's definitely hope that is exactly what happens. But you've had some people on today who talk about a very strong consumer purchasing power and people coming back to stores and wanting to travel and spend money. We do see very low unemployment rate. That, to me, does say we're going to see a, a spiral in wages because you have companies competing to get those workers. All the Fed can really do to, to fight inflation is raise interest rates. And I think the mistake is... is in looking at this as just a money supply problem, because the Fed's been increasing the money supply at alarming rates for years, and we didn't get inflation. We really got the inflation because of fiscal issues and the government putting money in the pockets of people who weren't contributing to increased supply. So now when the Fed says we're going to be stalwart in raising the interest rate, what they're really doing is, is they're going to end up limiting access to capital. That is, it's going to become more expensive for people to be able to borrow. And these could be individuals and companies that wanted to borrow precisely to increase output, to increase supply of goods and services, which is what would be helpful in fighting this kind of inflation. But instead, I think the Fed is going to risk that at the same time that they're trying to kill demand, they're also killing supply. So in some ways, just raising interest rates is working against the idea of a, a pro-growth environment that would reduce the supply more commensurate with the existing demand.